alongside navigational prowess that enabled Cebuanos to master navigating the surface of the seas, they have come to master harnessing the underwater. To navigate the vast underworld, often mysterious and mythical, and harvest an abundant catch, fisherfolks have developed various fishing techniques and methods. Methods such as pamatingaw and panlabay are steeped in cultural and historical significance to the coastal communities in Zaragoza, Olango, and Hilotongan. But fishermen had developed modern techniques of harvesting fish over the years. Equipment such as this blue-looking rifle known as a posil pana, pana or arrow, antipara or goggles, panyapak or foot flippers, lights, and their holding vessels called bote-bote makes the process of fishing quick and efficient. Fishing at night was also practiced ever since, though innovations such as sulo or suo, petromax, hasag, and kinombinal have persisted in the modern era, these lights help fishermen navigate on the sea and aid them in catching some game. Another unique fishing tool that has been perfected over generations is the sapiao. Quiet coastal communities in Badian and Olango have long relied on the sapiao as their primary method for catching shrimp, sea urchins, and all varieties of fish which are scooped out of the sea in a method they refer to as panapiao. Despite their shared general design, each sapiao boasts of its own unique purpose, born from the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the fisherfolk who crafted them. Throughout history, the fishing net has evolved and undergone numerous transformations to become the versatile tool it is today. The pukot is a marvel of artisanal craftsmanship that has stood the test of time. Woven together from the strands of sturdy nylon or cotton, it forms a mesh that varies in size and shape, depending on the kind of fish fishermen are seeking to catch.